Hello YouTube. Welcome back. Not Crypt Beards this time, but we're doing adventure mode in another world. And I haven't generated my character yet, that's what's going on right now. Uh, if you'll excuse me, I'll uh, attempt to zoom in so you can read a bit better. Is that better? Do you like that? Let's do that. Okay, so what am I playing? So we've got some choices here. Human of Osmos Bell Hal, Human of Omon Mel, Human of Kalisbahel. Let's not go for the places. So we can play a human, we can play an elf, we can play a dwarf. And a human outsider. Ooh, interesting. Interesting. That's That appeals to me, being an outsider. I like the idea of being a stranger from the wastes. Let's do it. Oh, hang on. No, no, no. Back, back. That, that was another thing. Status. Minus is peasant, hero, or demigod. Okay. Hmm. I'm assuming this is the magnitude of the stats you'll give them. It must be. Hmm. Let's uh, let's see what it's like, just being an ordinary peasant. That sounds good to me. So we've got 15 attributes remaining and 35 skills. So we'll look at the attributes here. We've got strength, agility, toughness, endurance, recuperation, disease resistance, analytical ability, focus, willpower, creativity, intuition, patience, memory, linguistic ability, spatial sense, musicality, kinesthetic sense, empathy, and social awareness. Hmm, interesting. Got a lot of stats there to put it through. How many? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19 ish. So we can't put one in everything. That's uh, that's not an option from the outset. How about the uh, skills? What have we got? Is that more than one? Uh, no, it's just one page. Reader, napper, object user, thrower, biter, kicker, striker, wrestler, dodger, tracker, ambusher, climber. Sound like a uh, Santa's reindeer. Swimmer, observer, archer, fighter, knife user, and spearman. No, this isn't the same world as Crypbeard's Pantherbeard. This is uh, a new uh, version. I'll check what it was later on. Uh, but right now, we'll just we'll just go with it. We'll see what happens. Because I've never done adventure mode, so any any version is as good as another, as far as I'm concerned. Um, well, I'm thinking for the stats. We're not going to go because we're just a peasant. We're not expecting to rise up through the ranks militarily through martial prowess, so I'm going to go for a, a Peter Baelish kind of angle and go for the smooth talking kind of guy. We're going to use our silver tongue, much as I did in the Fallout New Vegas run. We're going to use the old silver tongued linguistic ability. So here we go. Linguistic ability. Uh, how do we add points? Aha, there we go. Okay. What the? It costs five. Above average linguistic ability. I don't think that's good enough. I don't think that's good at all. I think I might have to go for high linguistic ability. Yeah, that sounds good. A real chatter. What are the other stats that we could be choosing? Analytical ability, that could be useful. Spatial sense, musicality, kinesthetic sense, empathy, social awareness. Okay, they're all good, but no. And we're going to put all of our points into reader. Because maybe not all of our points. These seem to be more cheaply... Uh, Competent reader, there we go. Um, we'll make him also a climber. Oh, sorry, a swimmer, a climber. And. Observer. And then, can we put any more points in reading? No, we cannot. Let's try putting all that into observer again then. Pew, no! It's got to be one more novice skill. So we'll have. <coughs> Dodger. No, you can't have it. No, two points. That's it. Two points I can't spend because I went too high on the competency of reading. Oh no. Anything above novice doesn't actually do anything. Okay, alright. Then back down to novice. Let's get some more novice skills. Uh, observer, climber, swimmer. Uh, Dodger. <laughs> Biter. Uh, wrestler that's it that's the point spent okay we're good so we're through this part okay so the name currently is Sakno Zosnuna also known as Sakno Good Fortune okay the human peasant I think we need to do something about that name uh, enter first name E right, the first name Zosnuna is unsatisfactory so can we delete 
Zosnuna. We cannot delete Zosnuna for now. So the first name will be. Hmm. Hmm. That's true, Kiezu, in Fallout. Things did go a little bit too easily with the uh, chit-chat. Didn't have to fight too many people. But hey, I don't want to fight. I'm not a fighter. If anything, I'm uh, a fleer. Hmm. Uh, okay, so the first name is going to be... Crypto. Uh, and then the surname is going to be... Ooh, can't enter the surname. Well, let's go for the customized name then. What do we got here? Crypto, front compound, beard, beard. Where's. Oh, no. It's not here. We've got bear, two forms of bear, but no beard. <coughs> well, that's. Uh... Hmm. That's disappointed. Disappointed? It's disappointing. Well, we'll call him Crypto Bear. Oh, no, hang on. No, look, it changes the surname. Okay, Bear Fortune. Bear, let's look at the rear compound. Hmm. Bear Ape. Yes, we'll call him a... No, that, that, that could be misread. Uh, maybe we'll look at something else. Let's, uh... Bear Baldness. Crypto Bear... Bear Bald... No, no, that doesn't, that doesn't have a ring to it. That doesn't feel good. Bear Barb. Rontuxu. Crypto Rontuxu. No, I'm not sure about that either. Um... Bear Born. Ronzudol. Hmm, maybe. Bear Bathed. Bear Bees. Bear beer, bear beetles, bear beguiles, bear belch, bear belches, berry berries, bile, biles, bin bins, bird, birds, blade. Bear blazed. Crypto Ronuxo. Maybe, I don't know about this. <laughs> Bearing bad. Uh, bear blisters. Bear bloat. Bear blood. Mm -hmm. Bear blood. Ronagon. Crypto Ronagon. Crypto bear blood. That, that sounds good. That's got, it's got a certain ring to it. It's not perfect, but we'll, we'll go with it. So, first adjective. Um, <laughs> awe inspiring. Uh, second adjective. Buttery, hyphen compound, uh, arch, no, uh, we're going to go for arch, we're going to go for, well I've forgotten what the beginning bits are, so we'll stick with bins, there we go, uh, the X, the, um, hmm, The belch of ancients. There we go. So crypto bear blood, the awe-inspiring buttery bins belch of ancients. Hmm. I mean, it's a bit of a mouthful, but I think it works. I think it works. Uh, let's do that. Okay, so he's a human peasant, and his background is... Your wanderings have led you to Hammerskold, a dwarven fortress. You are a stranger here. Okay, good. Let's go. Seems to have been unresponsive to my enter key. Let's try again. Oh, no, it's loading. Here we go. Your wanderings have brought you to this place after a long journey. Perhaps some of your people, some of the people here will be worth talking to before you continue on your way. Okay. Press question mark for help. Press enter to close window. So here we are. Let's have a look. What's the movement keys? We've got arrow keys for movement. Okay, so I'm walking around. We've got some statues. We've got some gem workshops. Nice. Okay, how do I look around? Where are the... Uh, where are the... Directions. Let's, let's look at the actual directions here. <coughs> uh, introduction, your first adventure, icons, table, 
technical key bindings. Okay, we'll look at that. So two, eight, four, six, seven, nine, one, three, close pointed brackets, move attack. Okay. I'm assuming that means arrow keys. Uh, shift plus two, etc. move attack up. Control plus two, etc. move attack down. Shift move Wow. Dwarf Fortress has really confounded me before, but um, this is something else. I mean, Alt 2, etc. Move carefully for entering water, jumping off cliffs. So Alt is move carefully. And Shift and Control are attack up and attack down. 5, attack same square. Full stop, wait for 10 instants comma, wait for one instant. Well, this is K key lets you look around. I'm, gonna, I'm just going to, uh, I'm just going to listen to chat. <laughs> they can let them tell me what goes on. Right, so we press K. Shout out to everybody. That wasn't what I intended to do. Ah, here we go. Enter. Greet listener. Bypass greeting. New menu. Never mind. Um, let's greet the listener. Greetings! My name is Crypto Bearblood, the awe-inspiring buttery bins belch of ancients. Uh, no response by the sound of it. Okay, so just, what does K do? K's shout out to everybody. Never mind. Let's go down to never mind. <laughs> <No>. <coughs> Let's, let's assume L makes me look around. Ah, here we go, look. There's me. Here's a conglomerate statue. Uh, a conglomerate statue of a black-handed gibbon. Let's uh, have a look at that. A large piece of art carved in the likeness of a creature. Statues can be installed on any open floor space, but cannot share the space with creatures. Statues can be used as the focal point of a recreational statue garden. Dwarves will admire or revile as they pass, depending on the statue and the individual's preferences. Okay, let's have a look at this one in particular. This is a conglomerate statue of a black-handed gibbon. The item is an image of a black-handed gibbon in conglomerate. Okay, way to repeat yourself. Let's have a look. Uh, what else have we got? This is not a black-handed given. This is a conglomerate statue of a forgotten beast. Let's take a look at the details. This is a conglomerate statue of a forgotten beast. The item is an image of a forgotten beast in conglomerate. Well, that's a little bit of a disappointing description. I would have liked to have known more about the forgotten beast, but okay. Uh, a jeweler's workshop. What does it say about that? Nothing. Okay. So I've learned that L helps me look. The arrow keys move me around. And the fog of war is thick. Okay, so we, we're in a room. We're in a room with statues and some jewellers' workshops. Interesting place to come to. Um, not sure what I've been up to. Don't know how I've woken up here. But we'll, we'll, we'll roll with it for now. Yeah, everything's a statue of dwarves or whatever in something. So, how do we open the doors? We've, we've learned to use our eyes. Now let's learn to use our hands and reach out and touch things. Can I open the door? Oh, I just walk into it. Okay, that's good. You just walk straight through doors, no problem. Um, we're in a corridor, looks like, yes. So far unpopulated. I bet that one links up with this door as well. Oh, hang on, oh, the second room next to the jewelers. Let's have a look in here. Oh, we've got an anvil. We've got some kind of metalsmith's workshop. Good, okay. So far, so deserted. Where are all the people? Where are we? We're in a Dwarven Forge, aren't we? As I recall correctly. This looks like a leather working place. Let's have a little look around, see what happens. A tanner's shop. Yeah, they're making leather. Will holding shift make me run? No, that's some kind of attack, isn't it? I'm attacking thin air. Come on. I can't walk through the workshops, apparently. Oh. What does that mean? There's a little pair of boxes on the side that say 64, 63. Well, so far the interface has been pretty baffling. I'm not going to lie, I don't claim to understand what's going on, but I can see there's a little guy, and he's walking around, 
and there's a load of workshops that I recognise from fortress mode. So, so far so good. Nobody died yet. Okay, let's try working through here. There's got to be some people around, right? This can't be an entirely abandoned fortress, or maybe I woke up here because it's an entirely abandoned fortress. Maybe I was put here in some kind of storage place. Somewhere to keep me while the heat died down. Maybe I was kidnapped. Then again, I'm a peasant. Why would anyone really kidnap a peasant? Not much to be gained. Oh. No. <laughs> Still just rooms. This is a big workshop room. They must have a pretty high output here if these workshops all get used. I don't know what they... They must have some crazy minds. Maybe we should head down instead of up and see what we can find. But I don't think that's a good idea. I think we should find people and start smooth-talking our way to the top. I want to find myself on the throne of every kingdom in this town without shedding a single drop of blood. Kingdom in this town? Hmm. Seems like I've got the uh, magnitude of inhabited spaces inside out. Or upside down. Hmm. I think it might be more than half the stream we spend looking for the exit to this castle. This is uh, some pretty intense being lost. Okay. There's some stairs here. Ah, stairs. So, how do I go about using stairs? That's the question. Is this going to lead me back into my... Uh... See, at the moment, we're trapped on whatever floor this is. This must be the, the uh, industrial floor, because look at this. What are, I am seeing a lot of workshops. Not seeing any stockpiles. Where's all the stuff coming from that they're using to make the stuff that these workshops make? Hmm? Are they just magicking it out of nowhere? I find that hard to believe, especially with so few workers. Ah, uh, okay. Shift. Oh. Hello, we had a bit of lag there, just a teensy weensy bit. Oh. Well. Just statues in here. Anything interesting, though? Let's have a look at some of these blue ones. Maybe they'll be a little bit more special. They're not blue. Oh, I see. They're just blue because I can't see them. Ah. Ah, the map becomes a little clearer. A little nugget of knowledge just landed in my brain dirt and started to sprout roots. <laughs> we don't know what that's all about, but yep. Yeah. I've got a head full of dirt. Still not seeing. Oh, I think that those maps that are popping up on the right hand side are mini maps of the floors above and below. Am I, or am I go? Am I going crazy? Is that an insane idea? Is that just stupidity? I don't know. The game is so coy with its secrets; it just holds back all the time. It's like, yeah, yeah I mean, we we did explain the moves in the most barbaric and brutal way possible. Uh, let's. I'm, I'm going to check that version number just so people can actually <laughs> look up things and <laughs> give me advice here. Um, where's the? Where's my lazy new pack launcher? There you are. So options. Let's have a quick peek and see what version we got. Ah, well, I don't know. That's the bottom line. How do I open up the uh, folder that gives me the version? Ah, here we go. Folders. Main folder. Main folder. 40.24. I believe. At least that's the numbers I'm seeing. There we go. There was an up-down stairway back north. That's true. I'll just check this doorway. What's in here? More workshops. Let's go to the up-down stairway that we saw before and see if the shift key will yield fruity results. Some verticality to our movement. Okay, so we're about to leave the nursery slopes. We're about to go upstairs or downstairs, depending on what button I press. I'm not entirely sure what's going to happen. And then we're going to 
come into contact with some living creatures and we're going to see how long a peasant lasts in this dwarf fortress realm I don't even know, I just picked a random world that I gen up I gen up? I gen up ages ago oh there's the stairs <coughs> and I don't even know what it's about it could be one of the ones I made experimentally trying to get lots and lots of volcanoes but we'll see so shift and nope that's not working, how about Oh, there we go. We've gone up a level. I think we went up a level. Can't be sure. But I'm... Hello? What's, what's all this? A small, giant cave swallow leather right mitten. A small pond grabber leather cap. Shoe. Leggings. Leather dress. Small yak leather trousers. Hmm. Are the trousers small? Or was the leather from small yaks? It's unclear. Let's keep walking. There's some uh, discarded clothing on the floor. That's an interesting thing to find. Why? What is that? Oh, this is someone's bedroom. Small troglodyte leather cloak. Small giant mole leather leggings. They wear a lot of leather around here. Oh, yeah. Well, we found the sleeping zone. Nobody's home still. It's still deserted, this place. Yeah, yeah, bedroom, bedroom. This one doesn't even have any furniture in. Okay, I think I'm getting the idea I'm going to end up where I was earlier. Why am I going back to open this door? I know it's just a little bedroom. Uninhabited, even. What's this? What are we looking at here? Let's uh, figure it out. A conglomerate hatch cover. Okay, we want to go up, I think. Do we? Is that right? Who knows this? Oh, I see. That's where we came from. Die. <laughs> Let's uh, head over here. Come on, dwarves. I want to get out of here. I'm not fooling around. I'm going to navigate your hallways. I'm going to find my way out. There is no way that you can confuse me enough to confine me to your fortress for an entire session. I will see the sun before this session is out. I, well, I'm actually making promises that I may not be able to actually fulfill. <laughs> we'll see. Okay. That's all that filled in. How about down here? Anything through your door? I've got some crazy design choices here. It's almost like the entire place was designed by some kind of algorithm. Come on, there's got to be some more stairs or a doorway. Maybe following the wider corridor will make more sense. I think that's probably a better idea. If I keep getting distracted by these little doorways off, I'm never going to find my way out. <coughs> And the main thoroughfares are where I'm more likely to meet people, right? Come on. Southy south, let's go. Ah, the whole thing dissipates into a load of little passageways. Of course it does. Hmm. Okay, we don't even have anybody here to ask directions from. I see some stairs over there. But there's stairs down. Do we want to go down or do we want to go up? I don't know. Where's the exit to this damn place? It's like a maze. Ugh. Okay, so far, I'm finding adventure mode not nearly as satisfying as fortress mode, but we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Let's see. Once I've mastered the actual basics, maybe we'll feel better about it. Oh, I've been here already. <sighs> At least the industrial zone was a lot less twiddly. 
This is this place is pretty huge though. Lots of little tunnels and passageways. Come on, there's got to be a way out somewhere, or at least people, a gathering place. Somebody doing something. Not just empty piles of discarded clothes. Maybe there's been a dwarven rapture. Oh, what's on this door? Is that the way out? No, of course it's not the way out. Maybe the way out is down here. We need to go up. Okay. I'm seeing that in chat, and I'm willing to go by that advice. <coughs> so the higher the floor, the better. It's definitely a slower paced game than uh, Alien Isolation. <laughs> That's definitely the case. But we're getting better frames here than we ever were in Grip Beards. Okay, I thought that was going to be a annoying little dead end room, but there's still life in this tunnel yet. Where are we going? Come on, just throw me a bone. Okay. I could just collect all these clothes and open a clothes shop. Mind you, I'll probably get caught for stealing. Dwarven justice is anything to go by. I don't think I really want to be involved. Really, all the punishments boil down to being smacked in the head with a hammer. I'm sure, it works for dwarves, but personally, I like my justice a little bit more bars and chains based. Hammers just seem so dangerous. Do, 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 do. Oh, okay, we can go this way. Got further corridorification. Any stairs up though? That's that's the key. That's the key point. That's the thing we all want to know. Where are the stairs up? <sighs> They've all gone. They've all just ripped their clothes off jumped out of their rooms. Some of them not even ripped their clothes off in their rooms. They've done it in the corridors and they've just vanished. They've run outside and left the fortress with no signage or any kind of arrows on the floor guiding you in or out. It's crazy. Personally, I think it's unprofessional. If you're going to be a dwarf, you should be uh, dour, stocky, resolute, and more importantly, present. Okay, so that's that whole bottom area completely mapped out. There's no way out from that way. Back up here. What's over here? Anything? Nope. This is disastrous. They, they, they really need to sack the architect who made this place. I mean, what if your room is one of these here? Look at the journey you've got to take to get to it. Actually, I bet this corridor links up, doesn't it? No, it doesn't link up. <laughs> it's an insane... Ah, oh, boo, it links up. All of my criticisms crumble to dust. The architect's probably getting an award somewhere for his avant-garde style. These twiddly corridors are magnificent. I have never seen anything so confusing. Build me a hotel. <sighs> I know this isn't going anywhere, but still I traverse the corridors just for the sake of clearing it. I'm going to leave that one. I'm going to go up to this wider open area where I've already been to the stairs and explore around a bit. What have we got? Interesting. There's to be some sort of crossroads. Nope. 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 No. No. Why did 
did I pick the ability to speak beautifully when there's nobody to talk to? This may be a world that I've generated past the point of there being any living people in it. That's always uh, a possibility as well, so that we could actually be wandering around a barren wasteland entire world. Nothing but the souls of the dead to speak to. If that, wait a minute, I'm seeing some exclamation marks and they're moving. Hello. What are you? What's going on? And... Oh, there's a wall. Okay, this room's got to be it. Yay! Dwarves! Hundreds of dwarves! What are you all doing here? What's that big purple you? Oh my god. Dwarf Fischerdorf to Dwarf Miller. It sure is dark down here. So are these are the conversations I'm overhearing. Let's have a look and see who's down at this. What's the statue like first? Conglomerate statue of Bogeyman. Ooh. Let's uh, take a look at B. This is a conglomerate statue of Bogeyman. The item is an image of Bogeyman in congl congl conglomerate. Hmm. Disappointing again. I'm not happy with these statue descriptions. What about the people? We've got a dwarf miller. We have a dwarf fisher dwarf. Okay. Uh, we have a dwarf. And a dwarf trapper. Okay. Well, let's talk to the miller. He's bound to know what's going on. Oh, no, we're just looking at him here. We're not actually talking to him. So let's, get, let's guess that T is talk. Nope, it's throw. Okay. Hmm. Talk with K, that was it, yes, K. Who will you talk to? I'm going to talk to the Dwarf Miller. Greet the listener. Greetings, my name is Crypto Bearblood, the awe-inspiring buttery bins belch of ancients. Bombrick Berdandlocum, Dwarf Miller. Hello, human, I am Bombrick Walkspear. Praise be to Shin. Okay, hail Shin. Um, what's the next option? Um, is that it? Or do I have to press K again? Ongoing conversation with the Dwarf Miller. Okay, let's do it. Uh, let's ask how he's feeling. How are you feeling right now? Is that a weapon? What's going on? I don't know. Do I have a weapon? I don't think so. Let's, uh, let's talk again. Let's continue the ongoing conversation. Inquire about any troubles. How's life here? Well, let's see. We've got beasts. Oh, that's good to know. But, uh, there's nothing like having a few beasts around. Uh, ask about the beasts. Tell me about the beasts. A great beast threatens to bring ruin upon our people. Scrap... Scrape wire is in the Tower of Truth. Seek this place if you hunt thully ivory taxes. The branded flame... The dragon. Okay. This vile fiend has killed 56 in her lust for murder. Okay. What makes you think I'm not going to be 57? Just the likelihood that there's going to be something killing... Being killed between me and them. Mm. Ongoing conversation. Um, let's not ask about the whereabouts of a dragon. Dragons aren't my deal. I'm here to smooth talk people out of gold. I'm going to take stuff. Um... State this is terrifying. It is terrifying. Okay, uh, let's see if the conversation can be continued. Um, direction, opinion. <sighs> Change the subject. Let's talk about something else. Um, <coughs> let's not ask about troubles because I'm pretty sure he's going to say dragon. Um, So what have we got? Ask about surrounding area, comment on the weather, comment on natural surroundings, inquire about the listener's profession, listener's family, brag about your past violent acts. <laughs> okay. Uh, accuse the listener of being a night creature. Interesting. That sounds uh, dangerous. I think I'll leave that for now. Let's uh, stop talking to him, see if we can find someone more important. Or more importantly, someone with stuff. Uh, let's look at you. Who are you? Dwarf Mace Dwarf. Seems like the Dwarf Mace Dwarf is going to know what's going on, isn't he? Uh, here he is. Greet listener. 
Greetings. My name is Crypto Bearblood, the awe-inspiring buttery bins belch of ancients. It is terrifying. <laughs> Hello, human. I am Golden Indigo Paint. Golden Indigo Paint. That's an interesting name. Kind of contradictory, wouldn't you say? Uh, let's ask how he's feeling. I've been all right. Um, I don't care about his troubles. Um, let's ask about the local ruler. Tell me about the local ruler. Vanquishing a great beast on our behalf would bring us all much glory. The influential fame is in the ruthless wastes. Seek this place if you hunt Tobal Cloud Braves, the esteem of passes, the rock. The inky work rules Hammerscald. We are in the right in all matters. Oh, I see. Okay, so the inky work is the civilization. Hammerscald is the city, and uh, he seems pretty convinced that they're all right. So that's great. Um, okay, the door's down here. Actually, what's that guy? He's got some kind of crazy things floating around him. Oh, he's a beekeeper. Okay, let's avoid him. Seems like a way to get stung. So why am I seeing all these exclamation points? Are they, uh... The sounds I'm hearing. Mastering the forces of nature would glorify us in the eyes of the world. The fern of trees is in the Tower of Truth. Seek this place if you want to hunt Ithra Glenfog, the Golden Rod Gill, the Savannah Titan. Okay. Um, so basically they're just shouting, it's terrifying, and calling out the names of monsters. Dwarf Spinner to Dwarf Farmer. It sure is dark down here. G goodbye. We're having a good old chat. Who's this golden-haired... Uh, is this an attack? That's alarming. Oh, I just walked into someone. Sorry. Let's look at this guy. Who's he? He's a miner. Tell me more about him. Let's uh, let's talk to him. Hey, miner. My name is Crypto Bearblood, the awe-inspiring buttery bin belch of ancients. Thek is Rolinan, the miner. Hello, human. I am Thek Dineworkers. That's nice to know. Let's continue our conversation. How are you feeling? Is that a weapon? What's going on? Okay, this is getting silly now. Let's continue our conversation. Everybody's got to calm down. I don't think I'm carrying a weapon. If I am, ignore it. It's not important. Okay. Let's inquire about the listener's profession. We know he's a miner, but what does that mean? Okay, I am a miner. That's all he has to say for himself. I suppose it was inevitable, really. We should have seen that one coming. Um, let's ask about his family. I have no family to speak of. Ah, oh, what a shame. What a terrible shame. Well, I'm going to wander off now. I'm going to leave you to your family this life. Untello One, good evening. We're just having a little explore in adventure mode, and so far things have been... What the bloody hell is going on in here? It's just chests and... Good God. They've got no real sense of layout, have they? Who are these chaps over here? There's a guy in red. Let's have a look at him. Siege operators and bone carvers. Just what we want. This guy over here's got a big hat on. Let's have a look at him. A suturer. Oh, he's a dwarven. Uh, is this a hospital? Is that where I am? Maybe. Let's carry on to the next room. Okay, this room appears to be stuffed full of stuff as well. What on earth are they doing? Their stockpiles are outrageous. Just everything piled up wherever. I've got to find a room with more sense to it. Where is everybody? I mean, obviously there's lots of people running around, but these are all just random guys. I need some structure and order, something like a throne room, somewhere where there's a king. Let's see if I can smooth talk the king into giving me some fancy pants. Maybe a horse. We'll see what he does. Dwarven kings don't usually dish out horses, I imagine. 
I don't see dwarves as horsey people. Nope, no doors down here. What about you? You've got a bit of paper. Are you important? He's a manager. Let's talk to the manager. Hello, human. I am Led Tomb Forests. Oh, hello, Led. Let's continue our conversation. How are you feeling? Is this an attack? What's going on? It's not an attack. Why is everyone so paranoid? It's not good. <coughs> they need to just be less aggressive. Okay. What does he know about the local ruler? You're the manager, right? You must have contact with the nobility. The inky work rules, Hammerskald. We are in the right in all matters. All oh, right. Just asking his opinion on his rulers or the you know ruling society, civilization. I don't know. Well, there's lots of stuff here, but none of it's of any use to me. Well, as far as I know, I've not checked any of it to be fair, but I'm assuming none of it is of any use to me. If it's clothes, it's all going to be dwarf-sized. It would be nice to know how I ended up here, though. Does anybody know? What about you? You also have a medical-looking hat. You're a diagnoser. Is there anything wrong with me? Oh, uh, looking at him probably is not going to get any kind of diagnosis. We're going to need to talk. Okay. Um, ask favour, place request, make demand, or issue order. Okay, let's have a look. Um, what? Oh no, I pressed a button. Change the subject. Here we go. <laughs> That's better. Okay, let's try something else. Uh, where was it? That's it. Ask favour or demand. Okay, so we can say wait here, yield, and I can demand an item, or we can change the subject. Um, ask the listeners to wait here. <laughs> I'm otherwise occupied. Okay, fair enough, fair enough. So there's no sort of smooth talk button here, it's all just uh, general chit chat. I was hoping I'd be able to uh, tell him I was cool and have him agree. Put my weapon away by pressing Q. Okay. You strap the scop the scopper. You strap the copper spear to your upper body. You strap the large copper dagger to your upper body. Okay, I'm strapped. That's good. Good to know. Ooh, diagnoser to peasant. Particular outlaws have been causing us much hardship. They have a hamlet called Shaken Pride somewhere in the Balanced Hills. That sounds more up my alley. I can go and talk to these guys. Let's. Uh, where's this diagnoser? Which one of them are you? Uh, we've got. There's the diagnoser. Okay, we'll talk to you. The guy with the bandana. <clears throat> Hello, human. I am Rini Side Mountain. Good stuff. Let's carry on the conversation. Um, let's get some directions. <coughs> so. We can go to Scrape Wire, that's where a dragon is, I'm not interested in that. Gem Burned, the Courageous Volcano. Uh, no, that's the dragon. That's the Bronze Colossus. Colossus? Hmm. Let's change the subject, we need to figure out what's going on. Uh, let's ask about his troubles. He seems to have troubles with the bandits. An army on the masts, beasts, criminals, bandits, and skulking vermin. Good. Tell me about the, uh, tell me about the bandits. Particular outlaws have been causing us much hardship. They have a camp called Brush Wheel, somewhere in the Ruthless Wastes. Sounds great. Let's get a, let's get a, a directions to the Ruthless Wastes, and then we can try and charm them from attacking. Uh, continue conversation. Brush Wheel. Half a day's travel to the west. You receive a detailed description. Nice. I take it there's no fast travel. Okay, so we've got to get to the west. How do we get out of here? Okay, well, I'm assuming the, the entrance must be somewhere around here. Let's follow these guys. No. Follow them, follow them. Where are they going? They're going down. I can hear them chitter-chattering away. <gasps> oh, my God. They're miles away. 
Oh, hello. It's just an empty room. What's that down there? Oh, open space. Okay. Let's be careful. Let's not go flying off the edge. <coughs> Try pressing Shift T. There's a con there's a chance we can just leave the fortress immediately. Okay, Shift T. Ooh. Cryptic. <laughs> fortress entrance. Uh. Okay, I'm finding this deeply baffling. <laughs> Got no idea what's going on. Uh. Nope. Oh, there we go. And now I'm... Where am I? Huh. You have discovered an expansive cavern deep underground. Okay. It's not that expansive, is it? it seems fairly uh, cramped, if I'm honest. having trouble getting around. Now we've got to find the way out of the caverns. Hmm. Whoa, what was that? Some text came up. You are caught in the web. You fall over. Okay. Okay, so that's... Uh, I'm currently webbed. Let's watch out for webs now. Got to be a bit more careful about these things before you uh, get yourself all webbed up. Hmm. <laughs> to say this game needs a total menu overhaul is an un understatement of such magnificent proportions that... I'm failing to find any kind of metaphor I can use to do it justice. It's epic. <laughs> the menus in this game are brutal, unforgiving and tortuous. And at times they feel like a punishment. Okay. Things are getting awkward now. I'm trapped. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> totally lost. Will Shift-T work again? Can I randomly end up... You can't travel until you un emerge from underground or enter a tunnel. Ah, poop. Big, stinky, ploppy poop. How do I get down? <laughs> okay, this is... So far, so good. No. <laughs> is this the same place again? It is the same place again. Oh no, I can't even get out of this little area. I may have to actually quit and start again. Ah, ah, ah. 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 No. Well, this... I have to say, Crippbeard so far, the first hour in, 50 minutes we've been going, first hour in, and I have to say, is among the most baffling gaming experiences I have ever had. <laughs> Not least just getting lost here. Come on. There's got to be a way out. What have I done? Where have I gone? <laughs> Am I being punished for something I did in past life? If so, it seems a bit much. I mean, come on. What did I do? Can I climb down this tree? Let's uh, press C, see what that does. You have no companions. That's a shame. How about W? You have nothing left to wear. Oh dear. Uh, you have nothing left to eat or drink. Uh, remove, no, I'll keep my weapons, thank you. Uh, you assume a submissive posture. You assume a submissive posture. Okay, that's good. We know that Y assumes a submissive posture. We have an inventory. 
You aren't picking up any odour in particular. Ah, so O is smell. <laughs> Interesting. You have nothing to put inside a container. So the alerts. Standing up. You lie on the ground, you stand up, you lie on the ground, you stand up. You have nothing left to drop, you have nothing left to fire with. What would you like to do? Ignite fungi wood twigs. No, that sounds silly. Uh, where would you like to move? Oh, here we go. H. Um, hold fungi wood trunk. Let's do that. Let's move. Oh no. Uh, okay. We now appear to be locked into a climb state that I cannot escape from. Okay, I've escaped. I've escaped from the tree. No, I'm climbing on the walls. How do I get down? What am I doing? Climb to open space. Okay, e, that seems like a good idea, right? Okay, we're climbing around the walls. <laughs> oh, damn it! This is insane. Climbing along the walls for some reason. Ah, I can walk again. Fantastic. Okay, we can walk. We're good. Um, but how do I get out of here? Oh, I'm back here again. Get out of it. I'm not going back down there. I'm going to find out what's up here. I'm going to live out my life peacefully. Oh, bum, I can't. This is truly incomprehensible. Ah, here we go. New territory. This might lead somewhere. This could take us back to the uh, back to the road. Will it? <laughs> no. <laughs> Unlikely. <sighs> Come on. Show me the major thoroughfare. I'm not back here again, am I? That's no use. Ah, I'm back in the cavern with the webs. This way? No, no, no. Something's not right. Something's weird. Hmm. Sworn it was somewhere over here. West down the slope. Uh. Hmm. There was definitely a path. We only strayed off the path for a few seconds and suddenly we're completely lost. going on in fortress mode <laughs> now we're in adventure mode I'm in a com ah look at this this is all ah this is all previously explored territory we could be heading in the right direction down here up here let's go over here no up here is this how we find our way out signs do not look good Signs look pitiful, in fact. I'm probably walking around over it right now. Ah, oh, I'm trapped in another bloody web. Oh, we're out, we're out. That's good. Okay. What's over here? Tree 
nonsense. <laughs> Can't go through there apparently. No. <laughs> I've been here before. I'm pretty sure I'm running around in circles in these caverns. Anything? Anyone? Oh, we've got something! We've got a living creature! We've got a living creature. What is it, though? Let's have a look. It's a stray sow. Oh, let's not kill the cave pig. No need for that. There's a cat, though. That might be a sign that we're near civilization. Lots of cats. Let's have a look at them. Make sure they are cats. They're stray cats, but they're cats nonetheless. And pigs and cats, well, they smell of civilization to me. Just a teeny weeny bit. But enough. Enough to warrant me to explore around them and hope that I discover some kind of habitation. Although the sign, I think that's some dead cats and pigs around there. But that might not be the best sign. Of course I'm hungry and thirsty. I'm lost in a cave. I've lost the cat. I can't even follow a cat. That is how bad I am. <coughs> okay. Plan two. Wander the caves, lost and alone. He's slowing down a lot, this guy. Am I going to starve to death before even getting to the surface? Am I going to have to break my promise to make it to the surface no matter what? Wow. Wow. Well, if uh, failure be the definition of fun, then uh, I'm funning all over the place. Funning myself off right now in your faces. Fun, fun! <laughs> if I head down this way, I might get back to where the cats are. Holy crazy crap. The frames per second has dropped dramatically. Every time I stop, they pick up again. But that's because the computer's not doing anything. <laughs> Cruel, cruel, cruel computer. Oh, I'm crawling. Okay. Oh, that's making things faster. <laughs> okay, what are these? Are these cats? No, they're not cats. I thought they were dead cats, but they must be the last place I saw cats. Well, we found the pig again. Good. The stray boar roots around in the tower caps. Okay, any more cats? Here, yeah, puss, 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 puss. Lead me to safety. Puss, 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 puss. No. No response whatsoever. Well, they're kind of like real cats, I suppose, then. <laughs> Wow, this must be the most electrifying stream I've ever done. I mean, come on. There's been nothing but wall-to-wall -wall action from beginning to end. Pure, spine-tingling excitement. <laughs> Not just bewildered lostness. No, never. Lost. Lost my ass. I know where I am. It's just the rest of the world is misaligned. Here we go. Here we go, we're moving. Although that probably just means we're moving into a deserted part. What the? There was some red text there. What was that? The giant toad attacks you, but you jump away. What giant toad? An invisible giant toad. Oh, my goodness. The road on the right hand side, we can see it. Okay, okay, east they say. We're heading for the road, as east as east can be. Oh yeah, there it is! How do I get there? I'm, I'm too high up as well. But here, I'm probably standing right about over it. What I wouldn't give for it trusty dwarven pick about now.
<laughs> Accidentally hitting the wrong keys there. Oops, so that is it. Actually, I'm not certain if I'm above or below the. Uh, The road, I could be above it or below it. <sighs> Curse these curving caverns. What the blazes are they doing to my mind? Is that one of those ridiculously hard puzzle mazes that you pick up and think, yeah, easy peasy, and then you realise, ah, oh, it's got some trick to it. Shit. I don't know the trick. I'm doomed. Okay. <laughs> Where are we? A poor fortress, not really a game to play blind. Let's put it that way. Uh, perhaps. There you are, you bastard road! <sighs> if only these walls were soft sand, I could dig my way through to the road. Does being close to the road count as you being on the road? Can I have journey over there? Oh, we've gone up one floor. Gone up two floors. Three floors. Okay, so we're three floors too high to rendezvous with the road. However, did that go up or down? I don't know. Ah. <sighs> Please, road, where are you? Okay, we're climbing up now. Heading this way. Slowly inching our way towards the road. Oh! The troll attacks you, but you jump away. Um, are they stairs? Let's look and see. Dense floor fungus upward slope. Uh, a non-lethal troll. Okay, uh, should I try to fight the troll with my fists? No, I, I think flight. Go away! Get away from me! Uh oh. 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 I think he might have got me. <laughs> I think there might have been a bit of a. Uh... Yeah. How do I get out of here? The troll punches you in the left upper leg with his left hand, bruising the muscle. I get the picture now. Come on. <sighs> He's pummeling me. No! How do I escape? Where's the way out? Oh, I'm unconscious. Let's let some time pass. Is that going to happen? No? <laughs> What's going on? <coughs> no. Nothing happening. Absolute static... There we go. There's a polished wall over there as well. Let me out of here. Ah! Ha 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 Yes. You thought you had me, Mr. Troll, but no. No shit, he's following me. This way. This way. Go up here. Up here. <laughs> We're getting further from the road, but only in height. Right, we've probably escaped him now. We can uh, sneak back, I think. No? Why are there stairs suddenly appearing all over the place? That's what I want to know. We've lost the troll, but we're having deep issues getting back to the road. It's over here a bit. Let's see if we can head over to the right. Am I sitting down again? Okay, yep, yeah, crouching again. Or maybe I was just knocked off my feet. <laughs> I see those face palms. I think they don't hurt. <laughs> I'm human too. <laughs> um, yeah, we've got to get down the floor. I'm right about over the... Right about over the road now. But 
but uh, I have no access to it. Can I jump down there? No. Oh, this is infuriating. What's with all the water? No, no, I'm getting further away from the road here. This is uh, this is retrograde. We don't want to be going backwards. We want to be going forwards. Into the future. Oh, boo. <laughs> it's just... Okay, can we jump down? How about if I press... gone down but it doesn't appear to be right Whoa. I'm on the road I'm on the road well a bit of inexplicable climbing and we're away so control T was it um, Alt T, Shift T. There we go, Shift T. So now we look at the map. Ah, there we go. What's that over there? That's the. Uh... I don't know. <laughs> uh... Am I going there? Let's press Enter. nothing happening let's press escape that didn't do anything uh, let's press K for tracks no C for clouds yes clouds on clouds off uh, now we turn the map off okay can I oh hello Am I following the deep roads here? Is that what's going on? I just need to get to the surface. I don't know how to get there. Oh, that's that's looks like it's getting closer. Oh, what's going on here? There we go. The map just turned itself off. That's all. Okay. Am I actually moving on the map towards where I want to go? I just, I'm just assuming I'm, I'm moving along the deep roads here, and that's what's happening. But maybe not. Maybe I am just randomly wandering around in the wood, in the woods, uh, in the caves. <sighs> I don't even know how to read this mini map. It makes no sense to me whatsoever. I think I'm going over water, <coughs> yep, through, uh, along the road, through stone, some kind of blue things, more water. They must be getting closer, surely. <sighs> it's a very tortuous, twisty road, this one. Could do with some straightening out. I could do with a proper modern road system. Obviously, that's not really in the fantasy flavour, but I can, just, I can just walk across the water. <laughs> okay. Am I undertaking an epic journey here, or is this just... Or am I even going there? The yellow star on the mini-map to the west. This thing here, I do not know. But we're heading our way there. God, how can this game be so cryptic? I've got absolutely no sense of what's going on. Thirsty and hungry, okay. Could have figured that one out. Wow. <laughs> There's a lot of tunnel here. 
must have taken a while to dig it out. And every few hundred clicks of the key, <laughs> that face on the map just inches a little bit closer. But only a teeny weeny bit. I thought I was given detailed instructions to get there. I should be able to fast travel. Maybe with a few mini encounters on the way, maybe. But we'll... Ugh. What's the point of dreaming? What's the point of hoping? Hoping? It will happen when it happens. Okay. <laughs> I'm sweating with confusion here. <laughs> okay. <sighs> this is an extraordinarily complex set of underground tunnels, if that is indeed what I'm traversing. I need to get up onto the... Oh, hello, we've got a nice long tunnel here. Now there's a kink in it. <sighs> Come on! Oh. You are surrounded by incessant cackling. Okay. Incessant cackling. Well, let's move along the road. The cackling fades away. Well, that, that's disappointing. Let's try walking along this road the normal way. Let's see how far we can f traverse. We basically just want to keep heading east. Can I move at a faster pace? Nope, this is about as fast a pace as we can muster. That's okay, though. Apparently my character's also drowsy. No, this has got to be slower, right? Ooh, what the... Bunty Higgins. Okay, we just changed level. That's okay. Ah! I don't care about your caverns. <clears throat> Keep your bloody webs in your bum, you giant spider bastards. Come on. Escape from the web. Escape from the web. Move, move. Ah, there we go. We're out. We're out of the web. Oh, that was a pretty deep descent, that one. The road got deeper and deeper. The only way in and out are mountain holes. Oh, my God. Then heading over to the bandits might make no sense whatsoever. I might need to head back to Scorch... The hammer school, whatever it was called. Oh dear, oh dear. <laughs> Trapped in webs again! Okay, once he's off the web, back to the fast travel screen. There we go. Uh, shift T. That was it. Shift T. We're off! We're moving, no worries of webs or anything like that, just pure speed. Oh yeah, but wait, we've got to go back to the mountain home. We don't even know where that is. Oh my god. Oh, dehydration, serious dehydration. Um, there's water to the south, right? That's where we are, isn't it? What's going on? Okay, let's find this water to the south. Okay, it's, it's a space to the north. You missed the giant mole. I never went for the giant mole. The giant mole just assumed I was attacking it. It wasn't. I swear it. Okay, let's try and stay on this one level. Hopefully we'll find water here somewhere. Not that I'm particularly fond of the idea of... Hey! Uh, so, how do we drink? Uh, D? No, nothing left to drop. Uh... C. No, I don't know what that did. V, B, N, M. Current swimming preference. Uh, no. C. No, I've already tried C. E to drink. Ah, right. Drink mud water. Drink spatter of crypto beer blood. The awe inspiring butty. <laughs> I don't even know what that is. Spatter of my own stuff. Let's do it. 
Ah, oh, my own blood. Okay, I'm drinking my own blood. Fair enough. Ah, uh, oh, fuck it. We'll just drink the mud water. Ah. Uh, you drink the water laced with mud. Oh, oh. The giant toad bites you in the right upper leg, bruising the muscle. The giant toad bites you in the left lower arm, bruising the muscle. The giant toad bites you in the left upper leg, bruising the muscle. The giant toad bites you in the left upper arm, fracturing the bone. You give in to pain. The giant toad bites you in the lower body, bruising the muscle and bruising the guts. The giant toad bites you in the right upper leg, fracturing the bone. You vomit. The giant toad bites you in the lower body, bruising the muscle and bruising the guts. You feel even more sick. Oh dear. Let's try and get out of here. Uh oh. The giant toad bites, 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 bites. Oh, it's bruised my lungs, making me wretch. Okay. Uh, you are deceased. Press escape to finish. Well. Ladies and gentlemen, Dwarf Fortress Adventure Mode. Baffling to the end. Utterly obscure. Totally arcane. I'm going to have to master it at some point. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, finish the game. Really quit. All the active saves will be deleted. Yes, this is really quit. Well, YouTube, thank you for watching. Perhaps you'll want those hours of your life or that hour of your life refunded I can't do anything about it unfortunately I've taken that from you forever and for that I am terribly sorry but for those of you who felt that that was time well invested congratulations you have very low bars set for your life and things are going to go easy for you <laughs> thank you for watching it's been a pleasure like and subscribe and uh, leave a comment why don't you leave a comment you might like to I will respond probably probably. Anyway, thank you for watching.